are a soldier of the mighty Horde. A disparate band of races united in their pursuit of freedom, honor, and glory. A Horde expedition sent to explore an uncharted island has recently gone missing. As a bold new recruit, you have joined a rescue mission departing from Orgrimmar. Find the lost expedition members and bring them home. For the Horde! Welcome to another video. This is Jordan here, and I am taking my first look at an MMO. There are multiple people here on the channel that love World of Warcraft and MMOs in general, and I am completely new to the whole type of game. In theory, it's something that I should love, and I'm really excited to get started. So I thought I would go ahead and do the tutorial of the World of Warcraft with you guys today. Give you my thoughts um, and what I think about the tutorial. I was told this is a new tutorial, so it's going to be interesting. It should be new content. And if you're interested in World of Warcraft, I'll give you my opinion based on the tutorial alone at the end of the video. Before I get started, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. We are going to be doing some crazy changes here, so stick around to, to see what we're going to be doing in the future and the new changes. Also, if you're interested in World of Warcraft content at all, we do have some coming out for you guys a little bit later uh, when the Shadowlands releases. So definitely stick around if you're interested in seeing that. But without further ado, let's start my tutorial. This is me. I'm Holy Trolly. <laughs> that is my character name as I am a troll priest. I thought it was very clever, so that's what I went with. Okay, so warming up. We're nearing an island where the Horde's last expedition was lost. You need to be prepared for what's out there. Warm up all of these combat dummies. So it looks like it's just a standard quest system. Um, let's see, I'm gonna accept that. You need to be ready to target a combat dummy. Show me your skill in combat. Okay, definitely can. Target that to cast smite, press one. Okay. Okay, so it's a standard, you know, hot key bar down here. And I guess I targeted the person. Okay. My combat dummy is pretty strong. <laughs> quest complete. Return to quest giver. So I'm guessing this little question mark is going to be for people who have quests. Standard um, in most RPG type games. Like I said, never really played an MMO before, but speak to the crew about the storm. Okay, for I'll collect horde. that. Yeah, for the horde. With you for now. Okay, so he's definitely got an active quest for me, so click in this guy my experience bar we will save the expedition Loctar. <laughs> what does that mean nothing quite like a good fight in the rain we will spar together and take the measure okay i accept stand strong stand proud i'll take my position strike okay first and strike hard i'm guessing i just Run from your foe. Victory or death. Oh, okay. So moving stops my charging, I'm guessing. I gotta stand still. Interesting. You're facing the wrong way. Oh, God. I gotta face him. Yeah, back off, your buddy. Will see our mission through. Thank you. Open your spell book. Drag shadow world. <laughs> Whoa. Shadow word pain to your action bar. Give me my gold. If you need chat to ask a question. Okay. The horde leaves no one behind. Well fought, holy trolly. You bring strength and honor to the horde. Well, thank you. For the horde. I should have read that. See, this. <laughs> I have to make sure I read it. Look at that panda. Holy kitten. Okay, let me go get my new quest. So, I played World of Warcraft like 10 years ago. And to be honest, I was like a dark elf or something. And I spawned in this crazy big spawn world. I had no idea what I was doing. 
nothing at all. It was back when you had to buy the like discs for your computer way back and I completely gave up. So maybe if I stuck with it, I'd be a little more well-versed in MMOs, but that was my first kind of experience with it. This tutorial seems a little bit more so far straightforward. Um, I'm able to kind of understand the direction of the game. Hold on to something and pray that elements will spare us from a grim death at sea. Oh, good. Oh my god, the panda is standing on me. Holy kitten, get off. Okay, so this type of open world kind of just throw you down is is what I remember. And 10 years ago, I was like, it had to be more than 10 years ago because at 15, I would have been able to figure it out. But 12 years ago, you know, I don't know. This, it, oh. <laughs> this is very difficult for me to figure out younger. Oh, what a murloc. Look how cute it is. Oh. I can drag that. That's cool. The shore is littered with shipwrecks. This must be where the lost expedition crap. Oh my god. Are they dead? Oh, that one's number two is a lot faster. I forget what it's called, but a lot faster. Oh, loot the corpse. You can click on the loot to put it in your bag. All right. Bingo bango. Did that. Can I fight this guy? Oh my god. Oh, I think I should have read what that did. A word of darkness that causes two shadow damage instantly and an additional 10 over time. Okay, probably shouldn't keep casting that then. It gives me an update over here. All right, this is easy. I could do this. It's kind of weird that I just got to stand in place, but. Oh, I got stitch cloth shoes. New shoes. You found a new piece of gear. Press B to open your bag. To equip your new gear, press C to open your character pane. Can I make that bigger? Nope. Okay. Drag your new item to equip it. Your item has been equipped. All right. This definitely has a lot more direction than I remember from previous attempts to play this game. But like I said, can't compare it to any other MMO haven't played one before but i'm definitely interested because i i do think i could play this this seems like it would be fun i uh i tried to play eso for a while with justin um and it was interesting same thing i just kind of didn't get the hang of it um and i didn't stick around for long so i'm hoping that maybe i can get this one a little longer Quest objective. Use a first aid kit on Bo, Mitherdan, Dawn Tracker, and Lana Jordan. Bo, here's Bo. What do I do? Use your quest item on the target. Okay. My Got thanks. it. You're we'll welcome. Find the expedition yet. You are welcome. Corey, what are you doing up there? Oh wait, I think that's another player. I don't know. Can these people see me? I feel like a bad gamer. <laughs> Saw fire to the north of us. Search nearby camp for expedition survivors. Open your map to see your next destination. Okay. Head towards your objective. Oh, I can jump. Ah, how cool my arms look. I definitely think that the tutorial is highlighting the game. And I think that so far from what I'm seeing and I'm kind of understanding, I want the goat. Oh my god. I got a new ability. Shield an ally for 15 seconds, absorbing 41 damage. You cannot shield the target again for 7.5 seconds. Can I use these on myself? I think that the tutorial from what I've played so far is kind of giving a really good um, example of what the game's going to be. The kind of combat I can expect. Pretty basic stuff. All right, let me go cook up these delicious jerkies spar with warlord grim axe okay oh, where's the grim axe a far greater threat than murlocs you must be I... ready to face them in battle do i fight this lady your 
network spells uh -huh. can be used at range. Cast new shadow word pain at the start of new uh -huh. shadow word pain uh -huh. at the start of God. You smite while shadow word pain deals damage. I'll tell you when to use shadow word pain again. Shadow word pain is fading. Okay, that's really cool. So it's now it's kind it of again. explaining to you how you would combo your abilities to get an efficient battle, which I, I like a lot because uh, if you're like me and you didn't read what they do, then I wouldn't have known to cast that first. So if you were someone who kind of clicks through, this section of the tutorial is really going to help you understand to combo your abilities and that's very interesting and very good for maybe someone who hasn't have a doesn't have a gaming background that's something very interesting that's very good if you don't have a gaming background you might not know what the language means or you know to even really look for it so there's a on the map up here there's like a abandoned treasure chest so i'm gonna go grab that Oh, that's cool. I found a bunch of stuff in here. You found a new piece of gear. Press B and press C. I also like that it continues to give you those updates because, you know, if you don't do them, you'll probably definitely forget how to equip things. Okay, so I can use these on myself, which is good. Mind Blast. Blasts the target's mind for 24 shadow damage. Okay. Oh, blasted his mind. Oh, this guy's shooting stuff out. Oh, I have a cooldown on the mind blast. Okay, that's why I wasn't. So you have a cooldown and it's it showed down here. Okay, I get it. Definitely get it now. Oh my god. Uh oh. Uh oh. I feel like maybe. Maybe I shouldn't have messed with this guy. Uh oh. Press B. Oh, I can eat the tough jerky. Do you want to destroy? No. That guy was gonna totally beat my ass. All right, I'm definitely getting the hang of it. All right, boss battle, boss battle. Oh, didn't mean to do flash heal. I'm gonna shield myself. All right, I got this. That's why I always bet on the horde. Oh, I did it. Me now I have to meet with Quirk Fizzle Pop. Look at those deer. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, uh-oh. I think I made a mistake. I made a mistake. I made a mistake. <laughs> I had no idea. No. No. Don't kill me. Oh my god. I think I just ran back into danger. Oh, fuck. All right, mistake was made. All right, let's eat some jerky. 2,000 years later. Ew. <laughs> Excuse me, just an All ogre. Sacrifices. Go to cooking pit. Wave at Gorgoth. Oh, it's making me do commands. Type slash wave. Take them to the back. Oh, I want to dance. Type slash dance. Oh. This one got some moves. <laughs> Thank you. you. Dance good. Thank you. Look at that guy. <laughs> I said act like an ogre, not dance like one. <laughs> That's kind of funny. I like that. It's definitely teaching you like super, super basic stuff that most people with video game knowledge will know. In terms of like equipment and stuff like that. Slash dance. If you're a PC gamer, you know about that kind of stuff. Just looking for ogres to kill. Oh my god, the poor cow. Dungeon finder. Select. I did. Oh, here we go. Find group. Wait while we search. Your role, I'm gonna be the healer. Okay, enter. This is really cool because I feel like am I healing these people? Like I have no idea. Um, looks like it. Okay. Oh, this ain't going good. Failed. Oh shit. I'm just putting shields on everyone. This is a little difficult, I'm not gonna lie. This is interesting. I don't know, I 
think I'm doing it right. Hey! But I'm not gonna lie, I, I don't really know. Yeah, just gonna give everyone some stuff. Here you go. Take some shields. Strike now! For the horde! Dude, I... Like, I did that. So I'm not gonna lie, the dungeon was a little bit difficult. They kind of just threw me in there, and... There was lots of moving parts to that. So I'm definitely gonna have to play around with that a little bit more. It definitely was not beginner friendly. I don't think the enemies were beginner friendly, but the whole system, I was I was really confused. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Lots of things. I said I entered as a healer. I'm trying to remember my buttons to heal people. It being an MMO, I'm gonna have to be prepared for that. Massively multiplayer online, whatever it stands for. So I'm gonna have group battles like that. So I think that a little bit more preparation from the game or maybe I just didn't read it <laughs> well enough but I definitely struggled a little bit through that with my role and how to complete it. Or Grimar, bulwark of the mighty horde. Standing as a symbol of pride and resilience, it is here that its citizens gather to barter goods and muster their strength. Their longtime rival, the Imperious Alliance, poses a relentless threat. But no foe can hope to stand against the fearless soldiers of the Horde. Renouncing the brutality of other troll tribes, you and your fellow Darkspear protect your allies with cunning ferocity. Azeroth faces countless threats. Bold heroes are needed to rise up and defend her. For the Horde! All right, everyone, that was it. We are done the tutorial. Now I am able to explore the world on my own as a full-fledged member of WoW. A couple takeaways from the tutorial. So I definitely think it is geared to help very very beginners as well as intermediate to very well versed gamers it helps the beginners by doing things like teaching you how to slash dance kind of explaining what an inventory and equip system looks like it really helps those new overall new to gaming players then the intermediate it gives you just enough information where you probably have a background in gaming but you really don't know wow this is where i fall i have played so many games in my lifetime but like i said mmos were just not my thing so i do believe the tutorial did help me understand and kind of grasp what i could do on this game and for very well versed players i think it was quick enough where if you needed just a refresher you could do most of it and pretty much understand exactly what you're going to be getting into when you leave the tutorial area there were some points as well that i was looking for when it came to the tutorial such as did it equip me to play was i going to be able to leave the tutorial area and understand the game and i think yes yes i'm going to be able to enjoy this game and it prepared me very well for the coming um, adventures. I think that the dungeon kind of threw me in there real fast. I really couldn't read. Things were popping up and by the time I noticed my team had completely destroyed the first couple enemies. So the dungeon was a little fast paced and really didn't let me grasp what that was. But I think that was the only the biggest downfall. Something else I was looking for was was it just fun to play? And I think yes. Tutorials can often be very daunting and very very boring. I think this tutorial really showed me exactly what I'm going to be doing as well as keeping it fun and entertaining with the stupid ogres and the fun storyline so I do think it it was a very interesting and very fun to do the last thing I was looking for was could I recommend playing this game from the tutorial alone and I do think that if you are interested in an MMO to at least check out the tutorial because it really shows you exactly what you're going to be doing and you'll be able to figure out for yourself if it's something that you're gonna wanna do. So I say, if you're interested in an MMO, check it out, see if it's there for you, and come take a look. 
you never know what you can find and if you don't like it there's no repercussions uninstall it and go about your day so thank you guys so much for watching my first look and my first take on the wow tutorial and the beginning of an mmo journey for me don't forget to like comment and subscribe we'd love to have you back here on the channel as well as check out our future wow updates and videos there's definitely going to be a couple coming out stay tuned for some really great content there's going to be a lot of changes made on the channel and we'd love to have you here for them let me know in the comments down below have you done the tutorial how many times have you done it as well as did you find it enjoyable and what are your opinions on it helping future gamers and new gamers to wow in general do you agree with my first thoughts if you have any questions leave them in the comments below we'll always reach out and get them answered for you that's it guys and thank you so much for watching bye